When I'm with the cats, I don't think of them as animals. They're more like colleagues. The rare creatures that I'm lucky enough to interact with. There you go. Okay. That leads me to my philosophy of animal training, which I've developed over many, many years. Let's go for a walk, sweetie. It's basically the animals come first. Good. Their feelings have to come first. Lay down. Lay down, girl. Lay down. Good girl. The tigers and the leopards, and actually all the big cats, are very much creatures of habit, much more than people realize. And just like people forming good habits or bad habits, if we can get the cats to form good habits and maintain those habits, that's what makes training really easy. So we have to condition them, but it's a very passive conditioning. It's a gentle kind of loving conditioning where you just gently guide them into doing things a certain way. Willie is uh, our youngest tiger. Uh, he's three years old. Uh, he's a huge tiger. He's gonna be a gigantic tiger. He's almost bigger than all the other cats already. Willie's probably over 500 pounds right now, and I expect him to get as much as 650. The rate he's grown is gigantic. He probably stands about four and a half, five feet tall at his head uh, when he stands up straight. So he's, he's a big guy. Willie's a sweet cat also, really gentle, really mellow. Just a great cat, really fun cat to have in the show. What a good swimmer you are. Good boy, sweetie. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> You're a wild man! Snow Magic is a pure snow-colored tiger. He's pure white, one of the rarest tigers in the entire world. Snow Magic loves to get out and see the snow. There are only about 15 snow tigers in existence. They're all in captivity. Unfortunately, they've been extinct in the wild for over 40 years. They have one of the rarest genes for the coat color of any tiger. Snow Magic's about four years old, and we hope to breed him, eventually, when he becomes a little older. Because of loss of habitat and illegal poaching, those numbers are dwindling quickly. Eventually and sadly, they might become extinct in the wild. That's where the breeding program comes in. By breeding them in captivity, we're able to preserve the gene pool, the correct DNA of Bengal tigers. So eventually, the offspring from those cats could be released into the wild. I feel really lucky and privileged to be able to work with the big cats, to be able to participate in their conservation and to help preserve endangered species is incredible. To be able to be close to the cats and form a loving relationship and share it with others is more special than words can describe. They make fantastic friends. It's like performing with my friends when I do the show.